Interest rates dropped again. The market is still hot, but some people are worried about the election and how it's going to affect the housing market. This week on Market Watch. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Market Watch for the week of October 1st through the 7th. I'm Jason Zawalik of the Zawalik Group with First Team and Christie's International Real Estate. I hope you all had a fantastic week. For those of you tuning in for the first time, each week I take a look at the Orange County and Irvine housing market as a whole, and then I break the Irvine housing market up into three separate categories. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell so you're notified every time I post. I post new videos every week about the Orange County and Irvine housing markets. The market continues to be hot. We saw interest rates come down even lower than they were last week, and it's really driving buyers into the market because they want to take advantage of these historically low rates. However, the problem is there's just not enough homes on the market right now. We're continuing to see an inventory shortage. Even though we saw demand drop slightly, there's still a lot of buyers in the market. We're still seeing multiple offers. We're seeing homes move quickly, especially the ones that are aligned properly. So they're priced right, they're marketed right, and they're in great condition. They are moving. We are hearing a little bit of rumblings though about the election. The election is less than 30 days away and people are wondering how is it gonna affect the housing market? So what I thought I'd do this week is just touch on this briefly and really show you what has happened in the past so we can try to get an idea of what we can expect moving forward. Typically in a non-election year, we see a decrease in the number of closed homes from October to November of about 10%. So if we had 100 homes close in October, in November, we would have 90. Now, going back in history, if we look at election years, this number changes. From October to November, we see a 15% decrease in sales. So again, our same scenario, 100 homes close in October. In an election year, we typically would see 85 close in November. Some would say, well, that's a dip in the market, which it is. We do see a little bit of a change in that election year. However, what the data shows is that in the year following the election, so for us it would be 2021, those numbers are made up and it's usually the strongest year of the four years. So in reality, that extra 5% is not being pulled completely and not being sold, it's just being pushed to the next year. Even though we do see an extreme short-term effect, the long-term, if you will, or just several months from now, we see those closed sales being made up. Well, I thought it was really important to talk about that because we are being asked that question a lot. Now I wanna jump in and take a look at what happened in Orange County over the past week. Let's check it out. We currently have 4,116 homes on the market in Orange County. We have 4,341 in escrow. We had 644 closed last week with an average days on market of 28 days. The average list price was $1,053,134. The average sale price, $1,033,492. So the list to sold average was 98.1% and an average price per square foot of $507. Across Orange County, we saw a slight increase in both inventory and the number of homes in escrow. They went up very minor, but they did go up. Our price per square foot did go up on average. Our average days on market is still under 30, so it's still a red hot seller's market right now. And our list of sold average stayed about the same. Now let's take a look at Irvine and see if there's any differences or similarities. In Irvine, we currently have 605 homes on the market with 425 in escrow. We had 63 homes sell last week with an average days on market of 29 days. The average list price was $898,100. The average sale price was $887,853 with a list of sold average of 98.9% and a average price per square foot, $501. Here we saw a little bit of a change. Our inventory dropped slightly by two homes, an increase in the number of homes that were in escrow. Our price per square foot did go down and our average days on market still at 29 days and red hot sellers market. Our list of sold average went up. So it's still a strong market here in Irvine and in Orange County. So we're still seeing homes sell. They're selling very quickly. We still have a strong sellers market here in Orange County and in Irvine. Even though homes are selling very quickly, we are still seeing some homes sit, and those are the homes that aren't aligned properly. You know I talk about alignment every week, so I gotta mention it again. Now that we've looked at Orange County and Irvine as a whole, I like to break Irvine up into three separate categories. The first category is our first time home buyer category. This is anything listed under $750,000, so let's check it out. So this category, we currently have 136 homes on the market. We have 122 in escrow. 
28 homes sold last week with an average days on market of 25 days and the average price per square foot is $487. Here we saw a significant drop in our inventory. We lost 12 homes over the course of the week. The number of homes in escrow went down as well. Our average price per square foot also dropped. So we're seeing a little bit of a shift in this market. This is usually a really strong market because of the buyer pool, because of the price point, and there's just not as many homes on the market in this category. However, again, we're looking at our days on market, sub 30 at 25 days, red hot when you look at the average days on market. So from the time the sign is put in the ground until it's in escrow, 25 days. That is really quick. So sellers, in this category that are aligned properly are taking advantage of the market and selling quickly and getting top dollar. Next up is our step up category. This is anything listed between 750,000 and 1.25 million. Let's check it out. We currently have 240 homes on the market, 199 in escrow, 26 homes sold last week with an average days on market of 31 days, an average price per square foot of $495. Here we saw a small decrease from last week in our inventory. The number of homes in escrow went up by 10, up to 199. The average price per square foot did drop, but so did the days on market. We're now just over 30 at 31, down from 35 last week. Again, homes are moving quickly in this category as well. The final category that we look at is our luxury category. This is anything listed over 1.25 million, so let's check it out. In this category, we have 227 homes currently on the market. That's up from 222 last week. We have 104 homes currently in escrow. That's up from last week as well. We had nine homes sell over the course of the week with an average days on market of 38 days and an average price per square foot of $562. Here, we saw our price per square foot actually go up. It was the only category where our price per square foot went up. So a lot of value in the luxury market right now. The average days on market dropped to 38 days, which is really strong for this market. Like I talk about every week, typically the buyer pool for this market is smaller. The higher the price, the smaller the buyer pool. And that can lead to homes sitting on the market a little bit longer, having price reductions. So when we see a 38 day average market time in this category, we know those homes were aligned properly and they had success. Overall, there wasn't much change in the market. The market's still hot. Rates are great. Inventory is low. Demand is up. We're not as strong as we were several months ago but it's still a strong fall market. The elections are on the corner, so we know we're gonna see a little bit of dip in the closed activity, but we can expect that to rebound as we move into 2021. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified every time I post. Again, I post every single week about the Orange County and Irvine housing market. If you are thinking of buying or selling, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, just get in touch with us. We're here to answer any questions that you may have and help make the process as simple and pain-free as possible for you. I hope you all have a great weekend and until next week, take care everybody.